However, another toad on this same mountain has elaborated this strategy. It lives a mile above the forest on this plateau, cut off from the world below. This is a pebble toad. It too is only an inch long. These rocks may seem a paradise for a toad. It's even wetter than the forest below, and there are no snakes. But there is a hunter here. Toad-eating tarantula. It ambushes its prey. Like the waterfall toad, the pebble toad can't hop, but it has a different defense. its muscles, becomes rigid, and turns itself into a rubber ball. It's so tiny and weighs so little that bouncing doesn't hurt it at all. Bizarre innovations like these are one of the reasons why amphibians and reptiles are still so successful. <laughs>